Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are here with another episode of our Epirus campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum version 0.6. And last time, we had a lovely, a happy, a glorious love episode, didn't we? We were very happy throughout that, and I tried really hard not to be salty. But today, today, today is the day. When we have an angry episode. I've had a very stressful day at work, my friends. And I just wanted to start this off with a bit of a statement. First of all, Deuteroy, you are the worst piece of shit that I have ever seen in my life. I fucking hate you. I hope every single one of you that was a Deuteroy in real life went straight down to Hades and was eaten by Cerberus, not through one of their heads, through three. And then shat out the other side. Fuck you, Deuteroy. But anyway, let's get going, guys. Um, yes, I don't like Deuteroy, okay? <laughs> well, this is a bit of an unhinged start to the episode, isn't it, my friends? Um, don't worry. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, yes, we're just having fun, my friends. And I do really not like the Deuteroy, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like... The Ambrachiotes, I, I just don't like Phalangites, please. Oh, I can't wait to get some proper armies that don't have to involve... No, the, the Phalangites are good units. I'm just so bad at using them. Right, let's get going with the episode, though. And I am actually quite disgusted in myself because we are not building pretty much anywhere at the minute. Uh, but we have had to spend, you know, all of our money on troops. So if we can clean up the Antigonids from this area, then yeah, I think we'll be uh, I think we'll be good. So let's get that done and let's press the end turn, guys, and let's see what happens. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I was slightly worried about Pionia then. Um, <laughs> they are still very scary. I'm not gonna lie, very scary indeed. But we did manage to get away with that one, it seems. So, uh, Thessalonica's ready to go. We've got these guys here. So, I'm going to save them until we've done the siege of Thessalonica. Who do we have in there? We've got... Okay, the Athamanians. I'd want to take those boys out. We've also got Parmenion over here. But I think it was Achilos leading the way, wasn't it? Uh, and leaving Parmenion in there. So, I think we'll take them. There's three Thurioforoi there. I'm not sure why they can't get retrained in there at the minute. Where can they actually get retrained, those 304 right? How about up here? No, it's just trash. And now we've got this army by Iskirion ready to go too. So what were we leaving behind here? I think just the general, right? Just Perseus. Yeah, Perseus is not a general we need. We've also got cavalry in Ambrakia too. So let's get that. Let's also auto-sort these boys. This is not the best army you've ever seen. But it's not awful either. Were we recruiting here? No. I think we need to slightly calm down on the recruiting for a second. <laughs> Where do we want to go, though? Ideally, I want to kind of leave this buffer to Pionia. Where did that... Did you see that? My screen just went black for a second. I don't know why. So I think we're going to go through this way towards Dasaretto Polis. Lycnidos. And whichever this one is. Hiskana. And maybe take... Demale too? What is this? This is still Rebel, so I'm happy to take this and leave the GCS there as buffers too. We might even build like a GCS buffer state <laughs> over that way as well. We've got those boys there. We've got this army ready to go. This was just going to go and, you know, take cities, wasn't it? Mm, they've not got a lot of movement at the minute. So I think you go... It's very hard to decide. Because <laughs> they've got these two massive armies there. Then we've also got the, uh, of course, the uh, Pionians ready to strike too. I think we just go for whichever's the best and quickest option to get more land, get more money. Because we really are struggling for money. Cleopatra has died! Not that Cleopatra, my friends. A different Cleopatra. And if you're wondering why I'm not so angry right now, <laughs> it's because I've taken a day between when I recorded that intro <laughs> and now. <laughs> so, yeah, less anger, kind of. 
<laughs> but we shall see. We shall see. So I think... <sighs> hmm. I think we go for some more Ambrachiotes. That's a good use of the money for now. Pella needs to be able to... So what does this do? This allows us to get 304 right here. So in fact, we need to send that three-man 304 right unit all the way up to there. Uh, okay, it keeps going black on my screen. Why is that happening? I I've not seen that happen before with my computer. Um, my new computer, mind you, so I don't know why it's doing that. But yeah, here we go. A lot of these places are very close to rioting, but I think we need to squeeze out as much money as possible from these guys. I mean, this has a lot of Prodromoy in that army, don't they? So I think Prodromoy in this army is the option. Let's go for that. Get some more Prodromoy. Prodromoy for the boys. Prodromoy. Right, we've got this Siege of Thessalonica to do, and that is a glorious city. So we aren't just going to auto-resolve this. We are going to take Thessalonica. And I think with this army, we basically want to take these three, potentially, Burger, just to block off this river here so that these two armies can't come through without sieging down Burger as well. So we'll do that. We'll send it back, and then we'll focus potentially on this little bit of extra land or the Pionians, depending on who is most threatening at that point. First of all, though, wait, you are ordered. So why, when I do this... Are you in a horrific order? <laughs> anyway, let's get into the battle, guys. Should be nice and easy. Let's go. Well, here we are. Now we're in place. We can start firing on them. These guys need to stick them down. That would be ideal. These guys should be able to fire. They did actually fire. We've got one of the units off then, which is great. So I wonder what we want to do next. Potentially either sandwich that unit or... Get our second unit of archers, which is all the way back here because I forgot to move them. Great. <laughs> Bring them forward to get rid of that secondary unit over there. I mean, it's just a standard smash and grab, isn't it, my friends? And this 304, right? Finally, the Deuteroy. They have a use, my friends. They have a use. <laughs> I'm joking. Fire at them. Fire at them if you can. Should be able to. Should be able to just reach them. Hopefully. We shall see. Here we go. Let's finally get this unit off the town square. Maybe shouldn't have played that in three times speed, but we just need to actually kill them because it's just taking forever to actually kill these guys. Like, hardly any of them are falling. Like, I'm worried about time. I know it's 27 minutes, but... <laughs> yeah, it, I know it doesn't seem like it should be a problem, but you never know. You never know. Right, guys, get your phalangites down. When I tell you to attack, do that. Why would you remove your phalangites? It's the whole point of you is to be a Valangite. So, <laughs> right, let's get these guys off here. Let's try and get them around this way if we can. And try and sandwich these guys in. But mm, I doubt we're, we're going to be able to do that. These guys apparently fired and are just attacking through. Like, oh, come on, guys. Like, just sort your lives out, honestly. Sort your lives out, please. 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 <laughs> like, what? Why are you guys facing the wrong way? Why? Why? I stand by everything I said about Phalangites and Deuteroy. I fucking hate them. Good lord. That was messy and annoying. <laughs> 191. Ooh, painful, painful, painful. But we won in the end. We won in the end. We just needed to break through them, which we managed to do right at the end. So... Glorious victory. Thessalonica is now ours, my friends. Here we go. And of course, we are going to occupy Thessalonica as well. And delete. I'm surprised they only have a level one recruitment there, actually. That's kind of crazy. But let's move our full army out. We are not wasting any time. And they're already at 50%. So I think one Akontistai is enough. Yeah, 70% already. And what buildings do they have in here? They have a large temple of Dionysus, which is tax income. I really don't mind that at all. And an Odeon, and a shipwright, and a trade center. That's produced 3,200 Thessalonica is making already. Wow, let's have a look at that. That does make me excited. <laughs> 965, it's trading with Dion. And we did say Dion is a very, very good settlement because of all the stuff that it trades. But wow, 965 with one city. 
That's kind of insane. So we are going to take the cavalry first and go straight for Tyrone. There we go. Just to make sure. Oh, no. If I've done this wrong. Yeah, okay. Should have done the cavalry, not the general. That's the way to do it, guys. <laughs> and, yeah, this, this should not be a problem. But we are going to take this. It's only a large town over here. But another port in this area. So that should be fantastic for us. We're going to keep on moving with these guys, I think. So, actually, no. We'll just go into Thessalonica. No, we'll go up to uh, uh, Cassandre with them. And we'll join up this unit again because it is a unit that we do want. And we're going to swap that guy into there and get the Athamanians out too. Are you happy? Not quite. Close though. Close. Pretty close. So, good victory. Where else are we moving? We've done all the rest of our movement. <gasps> Someone's sieging down Lamia and there's nothing in Lamia now. So, whoever sieges that down, unless it's the GCS... We may get invaded into Thessaly, which would not be good. <laughs> that really wouldn't be good, my friends. But let's do some building, guys. It's been a while. It's been a while. So let's see what do we want. We actually can't build any more military buildings in Ambrakia. Hmm. I'm considering getting that port. Let's have a look. 500, pretty much, from that. How much is it worth? 8,400. That's still a significant amount of money. I cannot turn that down at all. Pissaron's also a minor city. Slightly less rich. I mean, that trader does nothing. Again, our starting lands are so incredibly poor. Hmm. I mean, we could just go for that. That's nice and cheap. But I think let's have a look at some of these angry places and just try and make them slightly happier. I mean, we can change the tax rate around, but I prefer to keep them happy without moving the tax rate. In fact, Let's build in Thessalonica. Might as well. No need in waiting. So let's go for that shrine to Aphrodite. Get a little bit of population growth. And then I also do want to make sure we build in Pella. But we are. Fantastic. So Cassandre over here. Let's also go for sewers. And then Acanthos. We need to repair that. That's fine. Uh, anything else? No. We've only got 700 gold now. No problem. Let's press that end turn and let's see if we can start, you know, cleaning up this area, seeing what happens with the Pionians. I mean, I don't want to face that army. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's a little bit of a scary army. Even, I mean, Iskirion could probably take it, but apart from Iskirion, even Alexander would struggle, I think, against this army, unless they're damaged, which there is a couple of damaged units in there. And it's not a full, full stack. And a full, 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 full stack. But, uh, yeah, that's fine. Where is my diplomat, by the way? I will always forget. And also the spies. Let's make sure we are keeping them in the best place. You probably are in the best place. Coerilos. Yeah, you're definitely in the best place. We want that. And you're over here in Sirius. I mean, we can probably move along slightly more. Okay, that's rebel that they're going for. Ideally, I don't want them to take that. Imagine if the Seleucids attack us because we're bordering them, which is highly likely. <laughs> highly likely, guys. Now, where is that diplomat? He's over here. Hmm. GCS are getting siege down. Athens is neutral. Pergamon is neutral, too. We've got a lot of trade partners. We've got no allies. And someone commented last episode or a couple of episodes ago. I think it's a great comment. It's probably because... That they're not accepting alliances, probably because um, we're at war with people. Uh, and, and most notably, we're at war with the Antigonids who are on their borders. So I get that. I, I do. I think that's a good point, definitely. But it's balanced with the Spartans, but no, they don't want it. <laughs> How about the Ptolemies? Very demanding. Oh, dearie me. I mean, the Seleucids would be fantastic, but I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, let's press that end turn, guys, and let's get going. And Pionia attacked... These four Thurio four, right? We are 100% going to retreat, though. Oh, and they came no further because there's a diplomat in the way. <laughs> oh, you got to love the AI, haven't you? I mean, <laughs> hate and love it in equal measure. But yeah, that is a fantastic move by the AI. I absolutely do respect that. Um, in fact, I think we go for Lichnidos and his Skinner because I don't think... 
If we have a look at our spy. Oh, no, you can get through that way. I mean, it'll be a good staging point to go against Pionia, but I think we leave those three settlements for now. Can we even see if they've got... Oh, they do have a third level recruitment there. So, yeah, but I think we take this land over here first. Divide and conquer, my friends. Divide and conquer. So let's go for Lichnidos. It's also got uh, stone walls, which is pretty darn cool. We are also going to come around this way. Unfortunately, we can't even get there. We can't even get next to them. We've not got quite enough movement points. So let's go. Really? Really, Pionia? You just... <laughs> AI got an AI events. They just wasted money on bribing a prodromoy. I mean, the Aetolians, what are they doing? I really don't like that. I, I very much feel like they're going to attack us. But Oh, more armies. Oh, just bring them all down, my friends. Bring them all down. Bring them all here. Oh, we got some Olympics guys that are doing Olympics now. Agathocles, Iason, Ptolemaios, and Antisthenes. That's fine. Pella got recruitment too now. That's awesome because now we've got a bit of a forward operating base for recruitment. Let's get a 304, right? Hmm. Yeah, we can't actually train anything good in here until we get level 3. How much is level 3? 10,000 denarii. And it, it takes forever. And this also allows us to get Zistaphoroi, uh, Ambrakiotes, all that sort of thing. Well... I think that's a good option. Definitely. It's going to take a while. We do need a forward operating base in the north against Thrace when we return back down south to conquer the Peloponnese. So, yeah, that is definitely the best option. Was anything else constructed then? That was just repaired, wasn't it? Let's get a sewer in there just for now. And, yeah, do we want to train anything? We've got a Thuriophori coming over there. Oh, it would be nice to build that upgrade. It didn't tell us that we had that upgrade ready. So let's go for that in fast loss. I may even consider going up to stone walls here. Is there any con uh, corruption? No, there's no corruption though. That's quite good. Well, that's fine for us. I'm very conscious we haven't had any big battles yet, but it has all been sort of tactical maneuvering. So that's fine. Athens, just just honestly, what, like please? <laughs> That's all I can say right now. Just just please. Like, you're just blocking us again. Great. Well, we're going to go into Baroya for now with that unit. Did we get a guy? Oh, what have we got? Oh, that's just Mercenary Phalangite. It's fine. Yes, we did get a guy in Ayana. I do kind of want to focus on upgrading Ayana because it's so rich. 4,252. If I have a look around, there's not much else that has that. I mean... Baroya also has a silver mine, which is very good, and that's making it very rich. Pella's quite poor. Why is Pella so poor? 530 devastation. That, those Thracian bastards. Really? That's just horrendous. Let's go down to low here. This may be spies entering the lands. And let's do this battle. Again, we're going to go through it as quick as possible, my friends. And this time, hopefully, it's less messy <laughs> than it was last time. Although, I can't guarantee. Well, we're through the gates. And the poor Greek slingers are getting absolutely shredded. We need to just calm these guys down for a second. Because I do want to use their javelins elsewhere. But if you guys could maybe get after them, that would be good. We're going to get rid of the Prodromoi now. And we're going to bring the general up. And we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to split them in half. So we're going to go with the guys in here. Uh, apparently, it's quicker to go that way, which is just stupid. But okay. Deuteroy going to Deuteroy, my friends. I think we've learned that this, <laughs> this campaign. You guys get there for now. Those guys get in. We're going to send the Athamanians this way. And we're going to send... This 304 oi can go this way too. Archers this way and other archers that way. And I think I think that's fine. <laughs> I think that's fine. Ah, oh, this is only Uzonoi as well. The poor guys. I didn't realize it was just Uzonoi. I thought it was their hoplites. But it is only Uzonoi. Get those phalanxes down, my friends. There we go. That's it. We'll push them back. You guys too. Nice. There we go. Absolutely. We should shred. These boys now completely shred them. Fantastic. Let's get going.
Well, here come the hoplites. So I don't think there's any time to waste. We need to get in here ASAP. Block their exit off. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. General, we'll bring you in in a second, my friend. But first of all, let's get all our guys forward. Athamanians too. They can fire in the back. That'll be fantastic. General, come in there if you can. And we need to just squeeze the life out of these boys. These guys should be able to fire. So fire away, my friends. Halt. <laughs> come on. Just fire, please. Fire. Fire. I know you. I know they don't want to because the, the people are in front of them. But if they are that stupid that they can't fire here rather than here and hit all their guys in the back. They shouldn't have a javelin to start with. <laughs> yes. That's all I'm saying on the matter. You guys, if you guys cannot fire, I will literally... I don't even know what I'll do. I won't be very happy. I can tell you that. <laughs> that sounds like the most emptiest threat you've ever heard. But anyway, let's go kill them. Guys, guys, what is this formation? Aren't you in guard mode, you idiots? God damn! I hope they got not killed those Greek slingers yet, by the way. You guys need to fire. Like, please, can you fire? You guys need to fire too. Like, what is stopping you firing? Like, what is stopping you firing? You guys get off the town square for now. There we go. You know how to do your job sometimes. Wow. You clever boys. Clever boys. Oh, and look at these idiots. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. Right, you just get in them because what the fuck they're doing, I have no idea. Right, you guys, just kill them for God's sake. Just kill them all. Like, literally just kill them. I don't care what happens. Just kill them all. <laughs> Come back, cowards. There's no one running, Alexander. But I, I'm not going to be salty with you. Because, of course, Alexander, you will have been an absolutely glorious commander. With your three gold chevron bodyguard as well. With 35 men. Pretty OP, I'm not going to lie. Ah, uh, Come on. Kill them. Kill them all. Kill them all. I mean, I could just stand on the town square. Let's try to do that with uh, these guys. Because I do want to use the cavalry. Oh, here come the hoplites again. This time should be a better charge. So, let's do that. Let's go. Where is Alexander? Because we don't want him to die. Where is he? Where is my friend? There we go. Stop them getting on the town square. Like, what are these guys? Like, these hoplites. Like, what are they doing, man? Like, what are they doing? They're just rushing for the town square, you know. They should be getting shredded over here because they're doing nothing. All right, this, this fucking idiot needs to d die. Fucking kill them all. Right, you guys, you guys, I don't care about anything. Just run through this way. This is what you need to do. Just run through. Everyone just run through because that apparently is the only fucking way that this unit will engage us in battle. It's literal whole point in life. It won't fucking do it unless we run through them and do what they fucking do. Something stupid. Fucking die. Fucking die. Fucking die. Come on. Kill them all. Kill them all. Ah, well, there we go. Glorious victory, my friends. <laughs> this time we did lose a lot less. Um, no less frustrating. Um, but yes. Glorious victory, glorious victory. They, their actual uh, hoplites, yeah, they, they use only did 30 kills. Fair play, that's quite a good effort from them. But a, a glorious victory, another city or town is now ours. So I think again, we shall just occupy because this is only a large town. No point enslaving this one. Although we do need to do a few enslavements just to get our population back up in our, you know, original land because the, the tax rates have been high for a very long time, you can see the population growth here is very low. Like, some of these places are not growing at all and are staying on large towns. So we do need to get the population up in some of these areas because they are still... Mm, I would know. Actually, they're probably not the best areas we have anymore, which... Yeah, that's fine. I mean, if Athens wants to block that road there, that would be amazing. So, thank you, Athens. <laughs> You're not allied with the Antigonids or anything, are you? But... 
I love the fact that Athens is just wandering around, just aimlessly, just like, ah, look over here, look over here, what's going on, what's going on? <laughs> oh, yeah, and we do need a garrison in here, because Athens might just come and take it now. <laughs> ah, we did have another, another garrison troop somewhere there, so let's swap this guy over. Algothocles can stay in there, and you should be able to get all the way across. Fantastic. Oh, 65%. Oh, well, we've got 1,900 goldies now. Anything else we can build? Korkira, maybe? No, I mean, just that, which is experience, so that's not useful. Anything else? Hmm, Ferai needs to grow, too. Okay, Thebaipatheotides, let's build that in there. And I think that's everything. So let's end the turn, my friends. And let's see what happens. I really hope we can just auto-resolve this. We should be able to, but it'll be some insane losses because we're on very hard. But let's see. So let's end the turn. And finally, it did happen. The Aetolians have attacked us. So I am genuinely considering sending Iskirion back to deal with that. Um, because we don't really have any other armies right now that are worth a shit. Um, Alexander's army is decent, but it is battered. And there goes Pionia too. So we will have to take... Oh. Okay. That's... That's less good. That's less good, my friends. Less good. So let's accept this guy. I don't know where he's going to go. And Brachia, actually. Good. Let's send him somewhere... In fact, let's send him to Thessalonica, because Thessalonica is such a rich settlement. But we shall come up here for now. We are going to take that settlement there. And, oh, I mean, I was going to go for the draw-out battle there rather than anything else for a quick victory. But I think we need to rush back and deal with those. That is an awful army. Why do you think you're hard enough to take us on, man? You are not hard enough. You are clearly, clearly weak. Clearly weak. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, I think that's what we'll do. And we'll take this settlement, and then we do have to deal with Pionia. I wonder if we just bolster this army with mercenaries. Yeah, that's that's a little bit problematic. There are mercenaries over here, though. Thurio, Foroi, Tarantines. Two armies, though, is not ideal. Hmm. Goddamn Thracians, hey? They have to come and ruin everything, don't they? Our glorious Greek expansion ruined by Thracians, of course. So, guys, I've been having a little look around, and obviously this big army's over here. Now, we do need to take Burger over here, but how will we get past these Pionians? I have no idea. Although, one of them is just a captain, so if we attacked Dasa Kenthos over this way, who's actually a Trabali, <laughs> but he fights for Pionia, apparently. Um, if we attacked him, and we did a night battle then we would be okay. But to get there, it's going to be difficult. Very difficult indeed. Hmm. It's very tricky with the pathing over this way at the minute. Um, first things first, though, let's do this, Lycnidos. Let's also just auto-resolve this. Hopefully, it takes men out of the Prodromoi. 210, apparently. Wow. That seems rather obscene. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we are going to... Hmm. Hmm. It's just over the threshold, so I don't want to occupy it. Oh, no, it is a minor city, actually. Fantastic. So I'm going to enslave anyway, just in case. Um, and we've got to remember those those cities that do need upgrading. Ferai, I believe, and then a couple of others. Now, let's leave 19 Prodromoi behind, and let's go straight in for Dasaretopolis over this way. That's only wooden walls in this settlement. Very nice indeed. 80% still fantastic. It is an Illyrian settlement, and they have a temple of Dionysus here too, which is really good for us. And then I think over this way, the only one left then is Damale, because that's Rebel. And it looks like it's Rebel on that side. So the only one left at that point is Demale. And then we can clean up these three and then look to fight the Pionians through this way rather than going any other way. If we have a look at the paths, it's through there. It's through this way. So we do basically block off everything if we get Stoby and we get 
Hiskana over here. So that's a pretty good option for us. Secondly, let's do this, the Siege of Burger afterwards, because I kind of want to see what we can do with this army, with the rest of its movement, whether we can come all the way back up to fight the Pionians or not. I mean, not in this turn, I mean, but in a couple of turns. So let's go for the Aetolians first. This is going to be fun. They do not have a fully stocked army looking at it. They do have some Aetolian cavalry, a very good unit. They do have Hoplites, Timon of Aetolia. But yeah, overall, not the greatest of armies. I mean, we don't have the greatest of armies either, but it's a lot better than theirs. So let's get into the fight. I am very, very convinced that they're going to withdraw from this. But if they don't, fantastic for us. So let's go, guys. So we're going with a standard hoplites in the front, phalangites in the back, because like we've said many times before, guys, the AI really does not like to engage phalangites from the front. They kind of tend to do everything they can to avoid them. So we are going to go with hoplites in the front, and then we're going to swap in the phalangites as we come further forward. We need to get into position first, though, and I think we can win the skirmish battle from a distance and then potentially lose it afterwards. I mean, if they're going to engage us straight away, then the phalangites are going to go round and enclose them in. So let's go for that tactic. Tactic? <laughs> I tried to say tactic and technique at the same time. That tactic. The tactic. Le tactic. Very good. Yes. So let's go then. Let's get these phalangites. How many have we got on that side? Three as well. Right, come down here then. Get moving, men. And these men will bring them up here too. Someone's getting absolutely shredded. Probably due to a cavalry. Oh, okay. I tell you what. You guys keep that. And let's just get in here. And these guys, you guys can come around too. God, it's, it's moving very quickly. It's moving a lot faster than I expected, to be honest. Let's come around this way. Uh, phalangites, let's come through. You guys are all engaged in the fight, aren't you? So come round. Oh, there goes another charge. This time a lot worse than the previous one. What have they got in here that's killing these guys so much? What is that? Just Aetolian hoplites. Well, that's kind of silly. You guys phalanx down. There we go. Glorious kill. Kill the Prodromoi. Nice and easy. And let's get with these guys. I think it's all three, right? No. Ah, goddamn. This is a messy battle. <laughs> messy, messy, messy. Looks like they're going for the old runaway tactic. So let's get our guys into them. I don't want to uh, worry about this too much. But let's come around. I, I, I knew they weren't going to do anything pretty much during this battle. You guys get in the back there. You guys can also turn around. You guys get off that and come down this way. And we will basically completely squish that whole unit there. Okay. That charge didn't break them, which is slightly annoying. So let's just turn around for one second. Okay, all these guys are starting to rout. Let's get the, uh, the phalanx down now. Oh, they're all routing already. <laughs> we didn't even need to get the phalangites round. I mean, Iskirian's army is quite versatile at the minute with the, uh, you know, the Phalangites and the Hoplites and Thuriophoroi. It's quite a decent little army. You guys keep coming. Keep coming. And I think you, probably best for you to just chase anyone down you can. These guys just need to die. They are wavering at the minute. Come on, cavalry, get moving. Well, I think that's a glorious victory, guys. So we will see you. At the end. Hmm, I'm not actually sure that we killed everyone there. We only lost 252 and killed 611. Good victory, but I'm not sure we actually destroyed the army. A lot of them did escape, and a lot of that was cavalry, because we couldn't catch them, of course. But a good victory nonetheless. It moved fast, but we did really just smash them. So it looks like they did run away and escape. So that's not ideal for us, but I wonder if... Hmm, we're just so low on armies right now. It's quite scary. Um, 
Hmm, well, we'll go through Ambrakio anyway, get a bit of retraining. Probably pick up that Ambrakio Phalangite as well. Potentially, I would like another Cavalry. So let's queue in another Cavalry in there. And this army can then go and deal with the Aetolians because we cannot leave them to just do what they want over here. We want to kill them, of course, definitely. So let's go and do that. And while we're at it, let's go and do the Siege of Burger. While well, we've got some money, uh, they've got Chalcospedes, Hoplites, and Cletus. Shouldn't be too hard, this battle, of course, but yeah, we're, we're just going to have to try and use our missile troops to the best of our ability. So we've trapped the first unit of Hoplites, so it is time to engage them over here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to bring all our missile troops around, so I'm going to start doing that now. They're going to come through that way, are they? No, we'll go that way. I'm going to bring them around here to force these Phalangites off the town square if we can, which will be glorious. So let's break those boys. I don't know whether their general... Oh, the general has a charge now into a double line of Phalangites. That is glorious for us. Very nice indeed. So let's keep that going. And we killed all of those boys. Very good. Very good. Here we go. Now we've got them on the town square and we are about to just block off this area from them so they will try and come and kill our guys but hopefully we can get a few kills off on them before they even start coming and i don't mind leaving kletos on the town square with his two men just to chill out if we can get rid of that phalangite definitely i do not mind that at all if they do come off which hopefully they do there we go now they're coming now they're coming why do we have unit status on again god damn now they're coming so let's get rid of them. There they come. Let's go. Let's keep them coming. Here we go. And now we've got these guys. Oh, are they going back on? Ah. It's quite annoying. Quite annoying. But we will we will get them off eventually. Well, the archers are just not firing through here. As we can see. Let's watch. There we go. Nothing. And there's nothing going down here either. They just can't fire. I, I don't know why, but they don't want to fire through there. So we're going to have to use the Thurio Foroi. So let's get on over here and let's try and bait these guys off with the Thurio Foroi. Right, here we go. We finally managed to bait them slightly. Not very well, but slightly. If we can fire at them again, I think we can uh, bait them even more. So let's come off. We've got our general coming through to kill old Kletos here. Get the phalanx down. Get the phalanx down, guys. Get the phalanx down. We'll kill Kletos easily. No problem. There we go. Nice. And uh, we've got the Chalka Speeders. Let's get out. Let's get out. So we've got to be careful here because, of course... Yeah, go go fire at them. Fire at them, my friend. Fire at them. Why, why you keep running, you idiots? <laughs> well, let's, let's uh, try and attack them here. Actually, let's just set up rather than trying to do anything stupid. Um, and let's try and just fully surround them. No need to do anything else. There we go. Kill them. Kill them all. These, these guys, surely you can fire. No, apparently you just want to run forward. Yes, that's great fire there, my friends. Great fire. Really well done. Well done, you idiots. Jesus Christ. Why do they do that? Am I doing something wrong? Like, <laughs> why do they do that? You press fire, it's got the javelin sign. I didn't press alt attack or anything, but no, they just decide to run into the enemy. Oh, now they fire. Now they're like touching them. What idiots, man. What absolute idiots. I cannot deal with them. Fuck off. Right, Chalka Speeders in here. Let's go. So this poor Deuteroy is going to get shredded because the line's too thin. Uh, but that's fine. They, they are just there to hold them while these guys get off your uh, guard mode. These guys should fall like flies now. But it's going to be just a grind fest. Why are they shuffling like that? Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. There we go. That's what we like to see. So let's speed it up now. Now that everyone is, is in a better position. And let's just kill them all. Kill them all. 30 of them left. Poor Deuteroy is taking a bit of damage, but everyone else, pretty fine. Glorious victory, my friends. And Burger should be ours. So we can block off that bridge 
from the enemy, which will be really, really good for us. Are you going to kill them? Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, we only lost 55. I was actually expecting a few more losses than that, but a glorious little victory, my friends. Let's get back onto the campaign map. So I think let's just occupy Burger here too. And that is a second tier recruitment hub. Problem with all this expansion out here is we're going to border so many people. There's no real good natural borders up here, up to rebel settlements, anything like that. So by expanding up here, it's very likely that we will be at war with pretty much every single Thracian <laughs> army. And none of them will be fighting each other because, of course, on Very Hard, they don't care about fighting each other. They never fight each other. All they want to do is just fight uh, the, the player. So, uh, of course, they're just going to do fuck all and just fight me. So that'll be great. But, uh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I don't really want to leave behind any phalangites. Like, can we get to here? No, we cannot without fighting through this way. Hmm. That's a little bit scary. Can we leave anyone behind? I don't think so. More Athenian armies. Why? <laughs> Athens is just such a little bastard. What is this? Is this a line there showing the... No, that's GCS there. So I know there's these little enclaves where they split the land up so that, you know, people on islands will actually come and attack. But I don't see anywhere with Athens, like, I don't see any for Athens itself, so I don't know why they would attack us. Hmm, what do we do with this army then? I mean, best thing to do is probably to leave behind those 50 archers. Let's, let's get out. Ooh, 55%. Not ideal. I mean... Hmm, have these guys built any rams or anything yet? Not yet. Hmm. Hmm. There's not... There's just not much... Like, many places we can go. <laughs> so, I mean, I could go and stand on this bridge. Hmm, if we were doing a bridge battle, I would like archers. So, I'm wondering... Like 45, 30, 40. Oh, mercenaries maybe. No, no mercenaries available. Great. I hope we can just bait them off by standing on this bridge. It's going to be unlikely, but it, it's possible. <laughs> so let's do our building and recruitment and everything. So we're recruiting in there. Are we recruiting anything over this way in Prosopis? Probably not. I think 304 is a good option. Ah, yes. Well, we can actually get back if we uh, build a ship. So let's build let's build a couple of ships just in case. They're very cheap as well, so it doesn't really matter. We've not really needed to use ships too much recently, but let's do that. Let's also find... Where's Ferai? Because uh, that needs to expand. Yes, fantastic. Anywhere else that needs to expand, let's go on tab so we can see properly. Uh, nowhere else, nowhere else, because normally it's yellow. So, yeah, nowhere else that can expand. And you can see, like, if we take this, we're then going to be bordering the Maidy, Bessie, all of this sort of thing. So, either we've got to take out the uh, Thracians very quickly, which is going to be very difficult because they're such strong um, armies. While we go south, I think, is the, the, the option we've got here. Um, so, yeah, but then over here... This is quite good for us. It, it only really borders Paonia and potentially the Scordisci, which we don't want to fight Thracians and Celts at the same time. Definitely not. But uh, yeah, that's fine. So let's see what we can build. Let's first of all go through the unhappy places and see if we can build there first. Nothing really apart from the Temple of Aphrodite, which I don't want to get right now. Lucas over here, there is actually nothing, so we might have to put that down to low. Where is Lucas, by the way? Oh, it's the island one, isn't it? So, yeah, there's not really any point in building roads there, because I was going to suggest building roads, but uh, Demetrius 2, nothing really we can build there. Falana, let's build a sewer. Tricker over here, let's build a sewer too. Argos Arresticon, nothing there that's worthwhile building. And Burger's already... Oh, is Burger building, or is it just... 
Yeah, nothing It's really building there, so let's build that instead. I think the unrest will go down next turn, so it shouldn't be too problematic. And then anywhere else we want to build anything. I mean, hmm, Minor City in Korkira. Yeah, I, I don't think there's not that much that's really that useful for the amount of money we have. So, yeah, we might just save that money to next turn. I mean, we could build a market here in Ayana, which is quite a rich settlement and trades a lot. I mean, it's saying only 21. I feel like that's got to be wrong, surely. Although the trade, yeah, the trade's only 267. But if this could be trading gold a little bit better, I think that would be very helpful. I mean... Let's go for roads instead because that'll allow us to get the paved roads and highways. And that in the long run will be more will be better than that market. So let's go for roads first. And then let's uh, let's end the turn, guys. Let's see what happens with Pionia. See whether they take our bait. I very much doubt it. I mean the other thing we could do to force them to come and fight us is just going and sieging down, say, like Stoby. And that should pull at least one of these guys off. Ultimately, though, I just want to get home. And if that means attacking Athens, then I don't mind that either too much. This guy's on this bridge here. So he might actually force them off too. He's got a bit of movement, so he should be able to retreat a decent distance. But uh, let's see. Let's uh, end the turn, guys, and let's see what happens. And Athens has finally attacked us. <laughs> oh, well, well done, Athens. I mean... <laughs> We just don't really have the armies to deal with this at the minute. There's just so much going on. We're getting invaded by Thracians. I mean, I don't... Okay. That's better than I was expecting. This is only a captain too. Hmm. We've got to be very careful of those Romphiphoroi because they scare nearby infantry. So if we don't have the... Um, if we don't have... The morale, we will just run. But we are on a bridge battle with Phalangites, so I don't think we can be in a much better situation than that to fight this Thracian army. They have a lot of slingers and archers, so we're going to have to get our cavalry across the bridge pretty quickly. But yes, a bridge battle, my friends. Let's get going. Yes. Yes, they do. Let's go. Was that it? Was that it? Normally when it's a dot, 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 there's more speech. Really? No speech. Oh, no, there was. I just was too slow. <laughs> too uh, too fast. Um. So is here another crossing? I think we've got another crossing there. I don't think anywhere else. I mean, if we zoom in there, you can see... It's only slightly different color, but it's 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 quite hard to see. I'm not going to lie, but that's fine. Right, let's get these like really damaged units off at the back doing nothing. We'll group them all together too. Uh, and then, of course, front here is going to be these boys. We're going to stick potentially... So those boys over there. We're going to stick a Deuteroy and... Essentially, these Thuriophoroi over this way. In fact, though, yeah, and then we're going to go the Athamanians on the sides to, to block anyone swimming because they do like to swim. Uh, yeah, you guys there. We'll also get all our cavalry on this side too, ready to go across. Apart from the general because we need the morale on this side. The archers can, like, pop over here. I think that's everyone. Get you guys off uh, phalanx mode for now. And let's come forwards. Hopefully block them off fully. We've got to be quite fat with our lines here, though. That's the one thing. So let's go there. Let's go there. And let's go there. The Athamanians. Anyone swimming? That's the one thing we want to look out for. Uh, actually, archers potentially go here. Athamanians maybe slightly back. Athamanians on this side, though, go there. Let's stick the phalanx down once you're in place. You guys are just phalanx units, so that's fine. You guys get in, too, and we'll bring the general close. 
And then when they're all on the bridge, that's when we're going to strike. That's when we're going to come across. Hopefully, we can force them across by firing because, I mean, they attacked us as well, remember? So that should be good. But let's see what they do and let's see whether they do start coming across. Here they come now, guys. And I don't mind taking a lot of damage to their archers if they're going to charge their whole army through because if they do that, we're going straight across. These guys off phalanx mode. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get across. If they want to come across into this phalanx wall of death, then, uh, yeah, we're going to come across and we are going to absolutely shred all of their archers and all that sort of thing. These guys now should be able to uh, fire at the Thracian Peltas. So fire at them. And uh, these guys can fire. Already people routing, which is great for us. <laughs> Just standard Agrianian infantry. That's the thing. Um, these guys, I want you to fire at the Paeonian cavalry. And they are just, like, coming across and routing. So, yeah, I don't know what they're doing. They're coming now. Okay, that's good. I was going to say, why are they just chilling there doing nothing? These guys can maybe come back slightly now. I don't want to lose them unnecessarily. You guys come forward. You guys go slightly back, and we should be good. So, there we go. These poor guys are getting shredded by the old archers. So, yeah, I think it's just a charge time now, to be honest. So, let's get the cavalry over this way. And uh, the infantry, too, can come round. And hopefully we can just squish them on the bridge. But, yeah, they're all face going to face us now, but with their just awful <laughs> archers and stuff. So, that should not be a problem. There we go. All their cavalry is charging across now, which is good for us. Very good for us, indeed. So, let's go. Let's keep going. You guys can go actually round the back to fi fire at these boys. And there's just a 4 eight. Let's keep coming down. Looks like they're going for the old uh, charge against us. So, let's just run through them. Don't know what they're going to do, but we shall just run through them. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Let's go. You guys across. You guys can actually chase down people. That's probably the option. Um, what's going on here? Like, are you going to attack them or what? Uh, and then you guys into the back of the Agrianians. No problem with that. Keep coming, men. Keep coming. Then you guys up to here. Zistafori, let's go. Prodromoi, let's go into the back of the Agrianian archers. Oh, just even the Prodromoi just shredded them there. Broke them straight away. Then into these boys. So, where is Zistafori? What are they doing? How are they dying as well? You guys attack them then. You guys attack them too. Here comes a cavalry, Hippocontistae. Don't mind fighting them. And you guys need to just come up this way, come up this way. Same with you. Okay, that didn't work quite as well against the Thracian archers. And we do need to, like, chase these guys down. So that's what I'm going to do with the Prodromoi. You guys get in the side there too. Go, 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 men, go. And here comes more Hippocontistae. Don't really care about that. Guys, come on. Go, go, go. What are you doing? They're all routing now. So what I want to do is get one of these guys on the bridge to stop anyone routing escaping. The rest of these guys can just kill everyone. I mean, in fact, the Phalangites, you get there. You get there at the edge of the bridge too. Good. We should be, like, pretty much breaking everyone now. Good. Right. You guys in those Agrianian archers. And, yeah, we're, we're holding pretty nicely on the bridge, not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> glorious, glorious, glorious. Right. Everyone out. Everyone out apart from the infantry. What we want to do with all our cavalry now is just chase everyone down. Where is the cavalry? Just come out. Just come out, guys. Come out. We need to chase everyone down. You guys fire in there. You guys get your phalanx down. And let's go get you walking across the bridge. You guys go there. There we go. Very nice. So, these guys getting them. You guys get them. This is the edge of the map, so we've got to be very careful here because we might not manage to kill everyone. Okay, they've broken now, so kill them all. Kill them all, please. Come on. Come on. Kill them. There's so many of them here, too. Oh, is this everyone now trying to route? <laughs> that is everyone trying to route. Come on, boys. Get across. Get across. And you guys can get on the edge there as well. Oh my, look how many are dying and going down the river. <laughs> Very nice. Let's bring this guy back into the party. 
So you guys, you guys get there. You guys, let's get them. You guys can now turn around. And you guys can turn around too. Kill them, kill them. How many have we killed anyway? We need a few more. So let's continue and let's try and kill everyone we can here. Well, a truly glorious victory, guys. Especially when <laughs> they inflicted 420 casualties on us. Glorious. Thurio 4 are doing an absolute load of damage. Same as the Phalangites. Well, a glorious victory, my friends. Back onto the campaign map. Glorious victory. And Paonia actually didn't move again. Hmm. That's fine. That's interesting. I think we'll leave what we're going to do with that army until next time. Because we definitely might want to attack them. I'm not saying we won't. But we might need a few more infantry units. Because we are quite damaged right now. Got good cavalry. And it looks like they do, like, you know, predominantly have a lot of Peltas. Which their Peltas are very good. Thracian Peltas. But, uh... Yeah, they're very good Peltas, but they're not really, you know, that important uh, for anything else. But yeah, Athens attacking us. That's something we need to deal with ASAP. I don't mind losing this settlement, Tarona. It's not really, you know, a hugely important uh, settlement, to be honest. But that's fine. Let's put them on low. We've got that to do. Let's also auto-resolve that. 30 men this time. That's better. So, yeah, let's also occupy here and destroy this. And we shall move them when we come back next time. So, got you guys coming back for retraining. So, let's go with that. We'll get the Ambrachios out of the army for now. Because we want our governor in there. Why does it think that you are a general? Hmm? Hmm? Iskirion's there, my friend. Ooh, that worries me a little bit. Let's uh, let's merge this guy into all of these. They're actually all done now. Let's also merge you into a few of these. I think we can afford to do that. We can. Uh, those boys together too. Good. All you guys are merged already. So that shouldn't be a problem. Let's make sure we prioritize guys that actually need retraining. So you two don't need retraining. So let's prioritize that. And let's go with that one again. And we're getting another Zistaforoi in here. So a good army it's going to be. This guy's now got a runner, Akilos, which is good. Akilos the uh, Smoshamosh. Does this have uh, does this have mines over here? Hmm. No. I wonder where, whether we get more mines. This has hides and horses. So trading with the GCS there would be quite good. Surprised there's not a few more mines about around this way. Oh, there is over here silver in Pionia. But yeah, I don't really know what to do with this army. I think we can go and attack Dessa Kenthos. Hmm. Where's our spies in this region? You over this way. I think best thing for you to do now is just come down this way so we can see what's going on. It's mainly just GCS action over here, which is great for us. I I'm happy with that. I'm happy to just take Demale and leave it at that and maybe take Antipatreya as well further down the line, just so we've got a straight line through there. That would be good, so that we don't have to come all the way around this way to get between the settlements, but that'll be something further down the line. So let's have a look at our next spy, which is Coerilos. Where are you? Yeah, let's go and have a look at this army. He was successful. So let's have a look at this army. Why is it so disorganized? It doesn't help. Please, just organize the army. Three generals, some noble cavalry, and just a load of Peltas and Pionian cavalry. They have hardly any infantry, honestly. But we don't have the cavalry right now to actually deal with them because their cavalry, three generals, is a lot better than us. Plus Thracian Noble Cavalry is a very strong unit. So we do not have the cavalry forces to deal with them. Even with Tarantines, maybe? Hmm. Well, I think we'll consolidate the army and then go for them next time. But yeah, that's that's fine. We've got this guy over here too. I should probably should have brought this guy back. 
Let's just have a quick look around this way to see what's going on. Can't really see. There's a big army. So, yeah. I mean, we can fort wall these areas. But, like I say, I, I prefer not to fort wall, really, guys, when I'm playing a longer campaign. Unless it's absolutely necessary to survive. I don't mind using a one or two every now and then. That's also very scared me. I, I feel like the game might break next time I load it because of this <laughs> Iskirion bug. But yeah, the Aetolians have taken a little bit of a step back now. Good. We need to come down with Iskirion and just scour the earth of all these little factions in the Peloponnese. And it doesn't matter where we go here because wherever we go, the Antigonids will be as well. So glorious. Let's see what we can build, whether we can recruit anyone decent anywhere. Um, we are recruiting in Fenike, aren't we? We are, and we're recruiting here. So they're the main two recruitment hubs. What about Larissa? Hmm, let's keep on building our recruitments here because third level, we can get Thessalian cavalry with these boys. But we do need to, of course, get the stables up for that. We need third tier stables too. So let's go for that one. And anywhere else where we can actually get level 3 as well? No, not quite. We just need to get up another level. Um, I mean, was this one a recruitment? No. Hmm. I mean, in the north, the only one that is, is Pella. And I really don't want to lose Pella at all. So let's have a look at Fenike. Yeah, you're upgrading. That's good. I don't think anywhere else is worth getting more recruitment stuff right now. Because they're all kind of upgrading and getting better stuff anyway. So, that's fine. Let's then do economic buildings for the rest of the turn. Argos Aresticon's a little bit unhappy, but that's fine. So is Kikiros. That's also fine. I don't mind. Pasaron over here. Hmm. Can get a lot here, actually. But it's so expensive. Everything now is just so expensive to build. <laughs> uh, which makes sense because the economy is a lot harder now. Um, I mean, I, the happiness doesn't help us out. The problem is, like, this is like six thousand. But let's let's see what 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 we what we get from that. We get a hundred. That's going to take sixty turns to pay itself back. It's just not worth it. Like, it's just really not worth it. Like, and the roads apparently don't provide anything because all the trade is going through the uh, <laughs> through the sea. So if there's anywhere that we can get more ports we will do that because ports are by far the best option now there's like literally nothing else compares to them in terms of the amount of money you can make um like nothing comes even close <laughs> to how much money you can make from a port so let's try and find a port anywhere actually don't think there's anywhere that can build the next level of port now hmm that's a little bit annoying i did check down here didn't i there is one we can build here in Burger, but that's fine. Rioting already. Lichnidos over this way. I think we build the sewer to keep them happy. Tyrone's under siege, so we don't want to build there. Thessalonica, though. We should definitely try and build up Thessalonica a little bit more. So let's go for the sewers, because it's going to be a large city actually soon. And we don't have any other large cities right now, do we? No, we've got none. So that'll be good to get up to large city level. Um, Cassandre over in this region. It's just like a crop rotation, 5,000. Oh, it hurts me to pay that. It hurts. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to end there. Glorious episode, this one. We did, you know, we are struggling a little bit at this moment in time because we're just getting pulled in all directions. And there's not really, you know, anywhere for us to go. It's it's a very tough situation. But I think once we've taken... I mean, Iskirion should be in the in the settlement. But once we've taken Aetolians out and the Peloponnese will be a lot richer. Because a lot of these regions up here are not so rich, as you can see. Only the ones with the mines in these regions. But yeah, these ones are not so rich, so... Taking them out is not that high priority, apart from just reducing the amount of troops that the Antigonids have. I mean, once we've taken these four, though, that should be another decent amount of cash. And if we sail across to the Athenian Islands, which is these two, and take those out, that'll actually be quite good for us. And once we've taken Athens, of course, later down the line, 
that would be fantastic. So I think the plan is to probably attack this army, even though it's quite strong, and try to beat it on the field. And then look to what we want to do next. I mean, this army's definitely going to have to go back for retraining at that point. Um, this army can keep on carrying on and probably go down to Demale is the option there. And then come up north and start taking out these uh, that are bordering Paeonia. But that's about it. And of course, Iskirion's going to go and take on the Aetolian. So, glorious episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.